Noon on ABC, Clemson and Wake Forest coming up in just a little bit. Delighted to be joined by the head coach of the Demon Deacons, Dave Clawson. Dave, who at one time was the offensive coordinator here in Tennessee. Dave, we just had a stirring rendition of Rocky Top. Did that, did that get embedded in your brain from your time here in Knoxville? Well, when, I, when I was there, unfortunately, to get played too much. So the fact that I'm on with you guys now when you're in Tennessee means God has a sense of humor. <laughs> Dave, Dave, you're having to deal with another team with a lot, of, a lot of orange, too. Where can you be most effective in trying to neutralize Clemson's defensive front? Well, that, that really was the game a year ago. I mean, the, the depth and quality of their defensive line is might be the best we've ever seen. I mean, they've probably got six to seven guys that'll play on Sundays. And we just can't, that can't decide the game. And that's really where it happened a year ago. Um, so, you know, we've got to buy fractions of a second. We've got to strain. We've got to do a better job protecting than we did a year ago. And, you know, that's kind of the game within the game against these guys. Coach, this is Desmond Howard. Uh, we've been talking about your quarterback, Sam Hartman. Can you please tell us about what type of competitor Sam is and what it meant to get him back after he missed the first game? I mean, Sam is the heart and soul and the heartbeat of our football team. And what he's gone through in his career here over his five years, and, and not just the physical development, you know, he's got great arm talent. He's become a better athlete and stronger. But he's really become an incredible leader for us. And he's a guy that the O-line loves playing for him. Uh, if you watched our Vanderbilt game, we had our third string tailback in there and Sam made a block that allowed the guy to score. And so he's a competitor, he's a winner, um, and he's just grown up so much in every way since he's been here. And, you know, we were scared to death in camp. We really were. The outcome of that could have been a lot, lot worse. And, uh, you know, at first you're just hoping he's healthy and the fact that we have him back playing for us is a bonus. Coach Clawson, this is Pat McAfee. I had the incredible fortune of being on your campus and in your facility before you guys opened it up. And I got to talk to you and you laid out basically, hey, this is our program. We get guys, they come in, they redshirt, they kind of get experienced, matured. You got a fifth year quarterback in Sam Hartman. This is a massive game for your team. You know it. What are you telling those boys going into this Clemson game with, you know, all the adversity and opportunity right in front of you right now? You know, when, when we got here, you know, the, the goal was to get in games like this. And we had a game like this a year ago when we were at Clemson, and we had a chance to clinch the Atlantic, um, and we didn't do it. Unfortunately, we won the next week at BC to win the ACC Atlantic. And you just hope to put yourself back in that position. And I'm hoping the experience of last year, that we are both nationally ranked, and here we are again. You have two nationally ranked teams. We're home. And, uh, you know, you just don't want to be in these positions. You want to find a way to win it against a team that's a heck of a football team. I mean, Dabo has done a great job, and, and they've been the gold standard of the ACC. So our theme last year was good to great. This is another step. This is one of the elite programs in the country we're playing today. Dave, we look forward to seeing your team take a swing against Clemson coming up. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been great. We really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.